I agree with everything Charleston White said in this video about the Ukraine, except for one thing. Well, I agree with everything he said about the Ukraine. But when these guys was interviewing him and when he was speaking about the Ukraine and the U.S., he said Ukraine is the white supremacist nation or whatever. America is, too. Especially, but when he when he uh, spoke about America, he was saying he was using we. He was like, we don't need to go. We don't make no decisions. Us as black men. We not even in the equation. So this puts me in mind what Malcolm X was saying about we seek master. Master, we we got a headache or we this and we that. What do you mean? We. We ain't got nothing to do with that. We need to stay out of that. That ain't none of our business. I mean, Biden and them don't give a fuck about what you talking about and what you you not there, you not. At the table with them when they make the decisions that they make. And we don't even have any kind of representation as black men. When I say we, that's what I'm talking about now. But when you saying we, you're saying you're a part of that shit. Like you, we, you, you attached to this shit in some kind of way. And that's the problem right there. Even the ones that are seemingly knowledgeable and conscious about what's really going on, which I, I know Charles Don Mike is from listening to his interviews, he is, but it's that one little thing they'll get you. If they got you believing in this shit and thinking that you're a part of this shit, you're done. Mentally, spiritually, we are not supposed to associate ourselves with these decisions that these white boys are making. Biden and whoever's sitting down at the table with Biden, they don't represent what I feel at all. Like Martin Luther, I mean, not Martin Luther King, but Muhammad Ali said back in the day, he said, like, if I'm going to fight somebody, I'm going to fight y'all right here. These people, those people overseas ain't stopping me from doing what I'm trying to do. They're not making me ride at the back of the bus. They're not lynching us. They're not shooting uh, babies like you keep mentioning to Mir Rice. You know, this system did that. You know, it was a it was an individual that did it, but he represented with that uniform he had on this system that allowed him to get away with that. So we should never, even by mistake, lump ourselves in the group with them. I'll use America's passport because we earned it. But when it comes to these decisions they make, I don't say we, that's them. That's the system. Now, all of a sudden, he ain't the man no more. He ain't the system. He ain't the Illuminati. He ain't the, he ain't separate no more when it comes to this. Now it's we. We don't need to do this. And we don't need to do that. We not doing that. We ain't got nothing to do with that shit. So you could never really, when you really conscious and you really writ, with, with uh, righteousness, you can't lump yourself in the pile. You can put place yourself in the pile with wickedness if you're really righteous. In no way, shape, form, or fashion am I with anything that the American government is uh any of these decisions am I with them. Nah. Mm -mm. That's not us. Even if it's seemingly a good decision, that, that ain't me. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They did that. They made that decision because they're making decisions based on their needs and their agenda. And their agenda is not my agenda. My agenda is to take over as a righteous man and move these wicked people aside and put them in their place. That's my agenda. And the wicked people that I, I am speaking of is them. So I can never lump myself in with them and say we. Even though I'm over here, if something pop off, I'll be over here too, but I wasn't with them. And if my God allows me to die with them, then he's unjust. And he had, I had no business worshiping him anyway. If he allows me to go down with them for the decision that they're making. But I'm here and if it happens, it happens. And I allowed it to happen because I didn't stand up and do what I was supposed to do as a man. We haven't st stood up and organized and done what we're supposed to do as men so that we will have a table. We will be invited to some of these tables to make some of these decisions. As righteous men. 
So that's the only thing I disagree with what Charles Tremite was saying in this video. It is a very good video. It's a, let me see. I'm going to show you uh, Street Stars or whatever. And it's called Charleston White on Russia slash Ukraine reward the baby Kodak Black Snoop Dogg Say Cheese Band Man Kivo. Check that video out. It was a good video. It's very uh, informative. I love his point of view. But that's the only issue I had with that video is when he associated himself as being a part of the decision making that these white boys are making. They don't make any decisions on my behalf. I'm a political prisoner over in America. Actually not a prisoner, I'm just a revolutionary. It's over here. America is only for people to get money. That's all America is for. If you come over here, you're supposed to have your mind on getting some money. That's the only thing it's good for. If it's good for anything. Get you some money and let your money speak on your behalf. By your actions and what you do with the money. Peace. 300 is the way, by the way.